it's Gamer Aimer here. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about some video game pickups that I recently added to my collection. Now a lot of these games actually range from the Atari 2600, Atari Jaguar, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, Nintendo DS, and the list goes on. So let's go ahead and check them out. So first up, you'll notice that we have a stack of games right here. So of course, to go ahead and start it out, I actually added some Nintendo DS games to my collection, and all of these were actually free from a family member. So here we have this, The Lord of the Rings, and this is the manual for the Nintendo DS game. I actually don't have this one in my collection just yet, but it's still pretty sweet to have that manual. And then we added this complete Madden 07 game. So this one is another sport title, but this one is definitely pretty neat to add complete. And then we have this Disney Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest. So this one is another complete game for the Nintendo DS. And then on to this Brothers in Arms DS. This is another pretty cool battle game for the Nintendo DS. And then right here, I am super excited about this game. This one goes for a decent amount, and this is Welcome to Animal Crossing Wild World. So this is 100% complete in this Nintendo DS case. We have this game right here, along with some of these extras. We have the manual that's included with this game and then we have this health and safety precautions booklet and then even this subscribe to Nintendo Power and get a free gift so this is a little pamphlet that's included where you can go ahead and subscribe to the magazine and then we even have this Nintendo Wi-Fi connection instruction booklet so this is a pretty heavy game right here as it has all of these papers included so this is a pretty sweet added bonus as I'm really excited to try out this game as I haven't actually played this Animal Crossing game. I'm a huge fan of their games but I haven't tried this one out so I'll have to give it a go. And then on to some more Nintendo games. We actually have some of these Nintendo Wii games. So here this one is sealed. So this is Kirby's Epic Yarn. So as you can tell, this is still sealed, and this is a pretty awesome game. Now I have played this before, but I didn't have one that was sealed, and I couldn't pass up the deal as I got these three Nintendo Wii games from a buddy of mine on Instagram. So this is definitely exciting to add to my collection. And then of course, some Crash Bandicoot games. We have this Crash Mind Over Mutant, and this is a pretty awesome Nintendo Wii game and I'm shocked that I haven't even played it yet so this is just so awesome and I'm really excited to try out this game as I have been playing some Crash Team Racing and kind of living through that old style Crash Bandicoot games and then of course we have this pretty sweet game that I didn't even know existed for the Nintendo Wii so this is Castlevania Judgment and this is a pretty awesome beat em up game that involves these Castlevania characters. So this is so exciting and I'm really excited to try out this game as it looks really cool and this manual inside is really thick. It has a lot of information about the game in here, a lot of different characters and some items in here. So this is definitely pretty sweet and I'm really excited to try this one out. As I love beat em up style games, I didn't know this existed. I love the Castlevania series, so this is pretty awesome. So of course at GameStop they have a special deal right now where a lot of their games are actually on sale. And you'll notice that with Nintendo Switch titles. So here we have this pretty awesome SNK game. So this is SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy. 
So this is another beat-em-up style game. And this one is definitely pretty neat because it has some of these SNK characters in here. And this looks pretty neat. So it was only $9.97 for a brand new sealed copy. So I'll have to go ahead and open this up and try it out. And then of course, some Sega Genesis titles. I actually scored this Alien Storm for a great deal. Now, I noticed that when I did open this up, it came with the manual and this cart right here. Now, this cart did actually have a large P across it. So, it had a large marker drawn on here with a P. So, I was actually able to remove that by just using some Windex to go ahead and gently wipe down this sticker. And it came right off. So now I have this really awesome copy of Alien Storm, which looks like a really sweet game. It says, shape changing alien scum take over your city, fry the slimy horrors, and smash their bid for global conquest. Blast into action with ray guns, flamethrowers, power whips, and more. But watch your step. Harmless objects might transform into vicious aliens. A trash can erupts with spiked tentacles that splash at the helpless. Only quick reflexes and precision weaponry can keep you off the alien's menu. Tackle the invader solo or simultaneously with a friend. Fight from two different perspectives, including a 3D view into the screen. The excitement is red hot in this arcade classic. So this one is definitely modeled after the arcade game. And this is just another awesome run and gun style game where you have to battle these aliens. So this one is definitely exciting to try out and I'm really thrilled to have it in my collection. And then of course some um, PlayStation 2 games. Now these two titles actually go for a pretty hefty amount considering they aren't just your standard cheap couple dollar games. So here we added this Jurassic Park game for the PlayStation 2 and this one is Operation Genesis and it says 3D Action Sim. So this one is like your typical simulation games where it's kind of like that theme park style. This is Jurassic Park so it's so much better than a theme park. It says dream it, build it, survive it. So of course right here it says Jurassic Park your way. So what you do is build these epic Jurassic Parks and you have to control them and go ahead and upgrade and just build and play. So this is so exciting and I can't wait to actually build some of these parks as these images right here where you have these dinosaurs and there's people kind of hanging on not trying to get eaten so this looks pretty epic pretty fun and I actually scored it for a great deal I paid less than eBay prices for it at a local shop and it's in mint condition and then this game right here this it has a pretty cool metallic cover on it so it's pretty shiny and this is made by working designs so this is Silpede, The Lost Planet. So this is Working Designs Ultra Series for the PlayStation 2. So here we have this manuals included and we have this disc. Now this even has a Blockbuster sticker around it. So this is pretty neat. And it has some various stickers on here from some rental places. We have movie merchants on here, a couple different barcodes, this Blockbuster barcode as well so this is pretty cool and this is a great looking shoot 'em up style game so I'm really excited to try this one out as this one has a lot of different character to it and it actually looks like it's a great game so I'm pretty excited to try it out as I haven't actually played it before and then of course some um, PlayStation 4 games we have this Tiny Troopers Joint Ops and this is the zombie edition now if you guys are familiar with this title, you'll know that they actually made a limited run of these games and those were only available at Walmart. So I decided that I would try it out and instead of paying all of those eBay prices, I went to GameStop and got two of these games and then a third one for free because they had a pretty sweet deal. So I actually got this one at a discounted rate due to that deal. So. I'm super excited to try this one out. It says includes base game plus extra content. And this one looks like a pretty interesting game and I'm really excited to try it out. And then we have this 
Yoku's Island Express. This says, a new type of platformer. Use a unique blend of pinball mechanics, platforming, and open world exploration to unlock the secrets of Mokumana Island. So it has pinball mechanics, exploration, and amazing abilities. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out as it looks like a pretty fun title. And then this one right here actually reminded me of the game Clue. So this is VR compatible for the PlayStation 4 and it says the invisible hours. So right here it says truth is a matter of perspective. Witness the interactions of the seven suspects to find the true murderer and multiple storylines will unfold at the same time but only one will lead to the culprit. So this definitely has those mystery style aspects to it and it reminds me of Clue which was a classic board game that I played growing up. So I'm pretty thrilled to try this title out. So moving right along here I actually added some other neat items to my collection. I actually added a couple more games to my collection. So here we have another Atari Jaguar game crossed off the list. So this is Iwar and this label is in very great shape and I found it local so this is another one off the list. And then on to this Atari 2600 game. Now this title is not one of those official releases. This was actually from Atari Age. So right here we have a manual and a game included in this package. And it was even sealed and it says Atari Age on it. So here this is Juno First. So this is the instruction manual with it. So it has a little bit of information right here. A game for the Atari 2600 VCS. And there's some scoring information and some introduction about it. Continue mode, auto fire mode, fuel, spaceships, hints and tips, and credits. So here we have this pretty sweet Juno First cartridge. And this one actually looks like a really fun game for the Atari 2600. So I'm really excited to try it out as I've heard great things about it. It's made by Atari Age and it just looks amazing. And then, of course, I added this Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP to my collection. Now, I didn't actually have this color, so I'm really excited to add this one as this is this metallic blue color. And this was also free. I actually got it with these games from a family member of mine, so shout out to them. So this is definitely pretty neat as it's another one to add to my handheld collection. And then, of course, some... Um, pretty sweet Nintendo DS. We have this case right here and then of course it has a charger on the inside, some stylus, pens right here, some stickers, a cloth, and some screen protectors on here. So this is definitely a pretty neat case that I'll have to use when I transport some of my handhelds. And then even this Game Boy Advance case which is pretty neat because it has a couple different flaps. You have one for games, extras, and then one for the handheld. And then, of course, I even added this Happy Meal toy to my collection. So they did have some Toy Story 4 toys. And this one is the little aliens right there. So this is a little arcade style game. And it even has some tickets and some papers in here where you can go ahead and build some scenes from the movie right there. So this is pretty neat addition to and it's pretty different than what I normally pick up and then of course I even found this Xbox 360 little band right here so this is a pretty neat promo bracelet so it just says Xbox 360 all around it and then moving on I even found this really awesome and vintage Atari Game Center and this is complete in box and it's not in too bad shape considering the fact that this is from 1981. So this is actually still sealed on both sides right there. So this is definitely a pretty sweet display piece and it's complete. So I'm not actually going to open it up as I do want to keep it still sealed in its original box right here. It definitely has some character on this box. and. 
even though it's not bright and colorful, it's still beautiful to me and this looks amazing. So I'm super thrilled to add this one to my collection as I picked it up for a steal as it is still new, still sealed, and looks amazing. So up next we move on to this pretty awesome standee that I added to my collection. This is for all of those Batman fans out there like me and this is the Batman Arkham City standee that is featured for that game for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 era. So this has a pretty cool image on here with Batman and this particular one I have not actually seen. I haven't seen any pictures of it online. I haven't seen another one just like this. Usually they have Batman or Batman and the Joker featured on it. Usually you don't see Batman with Catwoman. So this is definitely pretty awesome and this is a beautiful scenery right here. You have Batman, you have this rope right here. They're actually tied up. So this looks pretty sweet looking. It definitely adds to it with this skyline in the background and this is just a really cool display piece and it's pretty awesome that it is actually cornered off so the back will actually fit perfectly in the corner and this is definitely a beautiful display piece and it's in very great shape and I am shocked at the deal that I got it for so I actually paid less than $50 for this usually standees about that size you'll usually pay a little bit more for it so this was such an amazing deal and I am so thrilled to add it to my collection as this just was the topping on the cake with all of those video game pickups that I added and of course I'm a huge Batman fan if you couldn't already tell and this will go perfect with my entire collection So as you can tell, I had a great week of pickups. So a lot of these items I actually got for a great deal and some were even free so you can't beat that. And I'm just thrilled with some of these retro and new gen games as I'm super excited to play some of these and I've heard some great things about these games. So I'm really looking forward to playing these games and trying them out. And then with this pretty awesome standee that you see behind me, that I scored for an amazing deal. It was local and I haven't seen that one before as there are various styles of that particular Batman standee. But that one that I just scored is pretty uncommon and I haven't seen any others like it. So I am so excited with all of these items. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.